Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode. It is great to see you all, and I hope you all are doing good. Let's start the another interesting topics of WebRTC tutorial series. In the last video, we have discussed about the mesh topology of multi-user in WebRTC. Today let us move to next topology, that is MCU, multipoint control unit. First of all, welcome all to Engineering Semester channel. Here we are providing new emerging technologies tutorials. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. We already know that in multi-party call, we must use an architecture for our application. MCU is a one of the most popular topology in multi-user application of WebRTC. In MCU topology, there should be central server which will organize the client's datas. Since all of the operations are handled in the server side, the MCU approach requires very little intelligence in device endpoints. Each peer in the group call establishes a connection with the MCU server first, and then client can send video and audio data to MCU server. Once the streams from all participants get collected in a central server, then it sends back a single stream to each participant. MCU makes sure that each participant gets only one set of video and audio. MCU also decodes each received stream and rescales it for greater quality and more stable video and audio quality. From these points, you can clearly see that most of the works are done in server side. To understand more, I have created a simple diagram of MCU topology. Suppose three peer clients want to create a conference call with MCU topology. Consider the first user has connected to the MCU server with browser 1. Now this browser 1 will send its audio and video to MCU server. Then MCU server will decode the streams and send back a single stream to the browser 1. This is the single connection part in MCU topology. Suppose another user has connected with Browser 2 in the conference call, then Browser 2 send its audio and video streams to MCU server. Now MCU server will decode the streams and send back to a single stream to both Browser 1 and Browser 2. Here you can say an updated stream to Browser 1. If another Browser 3 has connected the conference call, then Browser 3 will send its video and audio streams to MCU. MCU server will send back to a stream to Browser 3 and updated streams to both Browser 1 and Browser 2. This is the whole process. I hope you got a better understanding now. Now you may come up with a question. We had learned mesh topology in the last video and what is the major advantages of MCU topology than mesh? Yes, MCU has some advantages than mesh topology. In MCU, it ensures much greater quality and more stable video and audio quality. MCU is perfect for large group of participants than mesh topology. In MCU topology, bandwidth always stays stable at approximately 2 MB. Also we already said that the MCU approach requires very little intelligence in device endpoints. Now let us see what are main drawbacks of this topology. Since it required a powerful server, the main disadvantage of MCU is its cost. It decodes and re-encodes streams to compose the final stream. Hence MCU requires significant computing power. We can say a secondary disadvantage is in delay because it needs to wait for the complete frame to encode. To overcome these constraints, we have some of the other topologies like SFU and Hybrid, in the upcoming videos, we can see in details about those topologies. I hope you got a complete idea of the WebRTC MCU topology through this video. That's it for now. See you soon with another video. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.